Yo, this is Sitano Plays Pokemon Gold Version. We have completed the journey in Kanto with Pokemon Blue. And we move from Generation 1 to Generation 2. Hello everyone. It is time to step into the new region called Johto. It was so fun to do the Let's Play of Pokemon Blue and I'm looking forward to go through you with all in the Johto region and Pokemon Generation 2 and Pokemon Gold. So, let's get things started. We have a new game and option just like in the old version. Let's choose fast since that's the way I like to do with uh, this game. Go through some of the frames, shall we go? Let's see if something cool here. Just keep it driving the one, that's fine. And here we go. Are you ready? Let's go. Oh, you woke me up? Will you check the clock for me? What time is it? So I'm gonna pick it at a bit different time so we can have a bit daytime when we play this game. I will put it at 8 o'clock in the morning. What? Morning 8 o'clock? How many minutes? It's just gonna put it at 30 minutes. That sounds fine to me. Whoa, 30 minutes? Morning 8.30? I overslept! Hello! Sorry to keep you waiting. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Oak. People call me the Pokemon Prof. This world is inhabited by creatures that we call Pokemon. People and Pokemon live together by supporting each other. Some people play with Pokemon, some battle with them. But we don't know everything about Pokemon yet. There are still many mysteries to solve. That is why I study Pokemon every day. Now, what did you say your name was? So here we go, main character, same name as always, Sitano it is. But this time we can't be able to name a rival, but you'll get to know that soon. Sitano, are you ready? Your very own Pokemon story is about to unfold. You'll face fun times and tough challenges. A world of dreams and adventures with Pokemon awaits. Let's go! I'll be seeing you later! Here we go, we are here in the Johto region in the first town. You can see a difference in Pokemon uh, Blue to Pokemon Gold is that this game actually has a lot of colors. Because there were no really support of colors in the first version, this game was actually made exclusively for the Game Boy Color. Luckily though, the game was still supported to be played on the original Game Boy and Game Boy Pocket as well. But the main support of this game is Game Boy Color. So, let's get going. Oh, Sitano! Our neighbor, Professor Elm, was looking for you. He said he wanted you to do something for him. Oh, I almost forgot. Your Pokemon gear is back from the repair shop. Here we go. Receive the Poke Gear. Pokemon gear, or just Poke Gear, is essential if you want to be a good trainer. Oh, the day of the week isn't set yet. You mustn't forget that. What day is it? Today is Monday. Just because it's the start of the week. So, Monday is it? Is it daylight saving time now? Yeah, might as well. 8.32 a.m. TST. Is that okay? Come home to adjust your clock for daylight saving time. By the way, do you know how to use the phone? We do, but let's just go through this. I'll read the instructions. Turn the Poké Gear on and select the phone icon. Phone numbers are stored in memory. Just choose the name you want to call. Gee, isn't that convenient? Yeah, I guess. It's one of the big new features in this game. You can call people. And you might think that that kind of sounds like a bit silly, but it actually is pretty important because with the phone, 
you're able to re-challenge and rebattle some trainers over and over again, making it much more better replayability. This is the first town. Kinda same like Palatown, you're surrounded by forests, and you have water on the right side that of course we can not cross before we have surf. And we have the Pokemon Lab up here, but who's this guy? So this is the famous M Pokemon Lab. What are you staring at? Oh, okay, that guy wasn't pretty good. Oh, well, let's get into the lab then. And there he is. Satano, there you are. I need to ask you a favor. I have an acquaintance called Mr. Pokemon. He keeps finding weird things and raving about his discoveries. Anyway, I just got an email from him saying that this time is real. It is intriguing, but we're busy with our Pokemon research. Could you look into it for us? I'll give you a Pokemon for a partner. They're all rare Pokemon that we just found. Go on, pick one. So the last time in Pokemon Blue, I chose the Water Starter Squirtle. So that means I won't be choosing Water again. Let's just go through all the three Pokemon we can choose in Generation 2. You'll take Cyndaquil, the fire Pokemon? Think it over carefully. Your partner's important. So yeah, I'm just going to show you all the Pokemon before I pick the one I'm going to pick. Do you want Totodile, the water Pokemon? No, we don't. I'm just going to show off. So you like Chikorita, the grass Pokemon? Nope. So, there we have it. We have Cyndaquil, the fire, Totodile, the water, and Chikorita, of grass. What Pokemon shall I choose? Well, I guess you can see it in my overlay here. You kinda know what Pokemon I'm gonna choose. If you see on the right side, yeah. So, we have water Pokemon in Generation 1 as our starter. In Generation 2, I'm going to start with the fire Pokemon, Cyndaquil. I think that's a great Pokemon too! And we see our first Pokemon in Pokemon Gold, it's a Cyndaquil. Nickname? No. Mr. Pokemon lives near Cherry Grove, the next city. It's almost direct route to there. If your Pokemon is hurt, you shall deal it with this machine. Oh, here's my phone number. Call me if something comes up. So we got Elm's phone number. This means that he can call us at different times now if things happen. We can also call him though to get our Pokedex evaluated. We'll get to that later. Mr. Pokemon goes everywhere and finds rarities. Too bad they're just rare and not very useful. Satano, I'm counting on you. Satano, I want you to have this for your errand. Receive a potion. There are only two of us, so we're always busy. Okay, so now we've gotten our first task in Pokemon Gold. We're going to go and visit Mr. Pokemon, who lives beyond Cherry Grove City, which is the next city. This city is called New Bark Town. So, we're just going to head to the left. And we have the music. You see, it's very colorful here. We have people here. And this grass. And our first Pokemon battle is underway. It's a Pidgey. Now you can see that the Pokemon now have actually symbols of selecting the genders. You see my Cyndaquil is a male, and the Pidgey here is a female. Now this is extremely important for what we're going to do in the future. It is regarding something called breeding. In order way, you can actually get more of the same Pokemon if you want to, and some Pokemon can only be gotten through breeding as well. But I won't really go in detail about that now, we'll get to that when we actually get to the place where you can do this very thing, called breeding. Pidgey goes down. And a great feature about this game, the experience bar is shown in game. You can now no longer wonder how much XP you need to level, the bar is there. It was in Doosan Generation 2 and it's in every single generation after. Yo, how are your Pokémon? 
If they're weak and are ready for battle, keep out of the grass! Yeah, but it's a bit easier said than done because sometimes there's only only grass to go through. Like for example, you could have gone through here, but this tree can be cut, but we don't have that yet. It's too early, we just started this adventure. It's gonna be a while until we can get to able to cut trees. You see, some places we have to actually go through the grass to, to progress. I wanted to take a break, so I saved to record my progress. Yeah, pretty straightforward thing you should do in Pokemon. Always save a game before you're gonna do something big. I'm waiting for Pokemon that appear only at night. Yeah, mm -hmm. so some Pokemon in this game only appear at daytime, some Pokemon only appear at nighttime. So that if you see a Pokemon that you want, don't aware of a nighttime, you should probably try to play this game at nighttime or adjust your clock as well. See those ledges? It's scary to jump up them, but you can go the new back time without walking through the grass. Yep. That's good to know. We can go back to Newbark Town without jumping through the grass, but we cannot go to Cherry Grove without going through grass. Route 29. Cherry Grove City, Newbark Town. And here we are. You're a rocket trainer, aren't you? I can tell. That's okay. Everyone is a rookie at some point. If you like, I can teach you a few things. Okay. Okay then, follow me! This is a Pokemon Center. They heal your Pokemon in no time at all. You'll be relying on them a lot, so you better learn about them. This is a Pokemon Mart. They sell balls for catching wild Pokemon and other useful items. Route 30 is out this way. Trainers will be battling their prized Pokemon there. This is the sea, as you can see. Some Pokemon are only found in water. Which is kind of obvious. Here! This is my house! Thanks for your company! Let me give you a small gift! You get a map card. So now the Tannis Pokeboger has a map. Pokegear becomes more useful as you add cards. I wish you luck on your journey! So let's actually go through this Poke Gear itself, the new thing in Generation 2. So here we can see the date and time, Monday, 8.41 in the morning. And here is the map. This is basically the Yoto region. And also go check here, we have New Town, Town, Route 29, Cherry Grove, Route 30, 31, Wild City, Sprout Tower, Ruins of Alf, Union K, Route 33, Aseli Town, and so on, and so on, and so on, and so on. Look at this. There's so much things we're gonna go through here in this Let's Play Pokemon Gold. Silver Cave, for example. Oh yeah, that's gonna be in the very end. But so much things to go through here. Mr. Pokemon's house is still farther up ahead. Okay. So if we wanna go to Mr. Pokemon, we have to go up the Route 30. Let's go to the Pokemon Center. And just heal. We didn't take much damage though when we fight. We only fought one battle against the Pidgey, but. Just. Pokemon healing is always free and fast, so always do that if you can. So, Cherry Grove City doesn't really have much to do for us. We can't do the, use the mark yet. And there's nothing really to do here. So, let's go upwards and see what we can find. There's a sign. Route 30, Wild City, Cherry Grove City. Wild City is a place we will go to soon, but we will just start with this one. You know, Pokemon eat berries. Well, my Pokemon got healthier by eating a berry. Here, I'll share one with you. Receipt Berry. Check trees for berries, they just drop right off. So that's, berries are also one of the new things in Generation 2. Let's go through the pack though, this is so great. Third, finally, the items are adjusted based on what type they are. We have normal items here like a berry and a potion. We have for Pokeballs in their own category, key items in their own category, and TMA gems are in their own category. 
this is really really cool so this you can see as well self restore item 10 HP hold and here's another thing use give toss equip give is a new one now what does mean that if I put it on here oh it only hold the berry that's fine so basically what does this mean that and a Pokemon can actually hold an item, and some items can be used by the Pokemon itself at certain conditions, like a berry. And this thing, this is a berry tree. If you see one, interact with one right away. It's a fruit-bearing tree! Hey, it's a berry! Tame berry. So, basically, over time, I don't think how much, I think it's 24 hours or something, the berry trees will be having a new berry available. It's really cool. But there are more things than just berries though. It's a fire Pokemon fight, and it's against a Caterpie. Level 4, a female. It's gonna fight us, of course, we need the XP, so might as well. You can see the battle animations here have improved a lot. And just the thing that Pokemon have their own color now, I think is a great thing. A bit limited to generation 2 things, but uh, I really think that this is a great improvement from generation 1. And also, there's a one, there's a special reason why a lot of people say that generation 2 is the best generation of Pokemon even today. And uh, actually, I have to partially agree on it. There's some things that are, are a bit old that have been done better, but I have to say that this game it really is a lot of fun. I don't know how many hours I spent to this game, but it certainly is a lot. Yeah, it's a bit random here too. I think they has improved a bit since Generation 1, but you see here... I just want to spam this string shot on me. But we beat the uh, Kerpy and we go to level 6. Because the experience bar went full. And here's something new as well. This was only available in Generation 1, but in Generation 2, Special Attack and Special Defense are split. That's right, Special Attack and Special Defense are now each other category. Which basically about the damage and you take and you do with Special Attacks. We learned smoke screen. Yeah, no fire attacks for this in the quill very very still yet. So we learned smoke screen, that's an ability that reduces the accuracy of Pokemon. Well, up to, a lot of grass here. You're gonna have it up to Mr. Pokemon. It's a Pidgey. It's gonna fight the Pidgey just to get some XP. You can't capture the Pokemon yet, so that's fine. Now see, this this Pidgey has a, has a Tackle Attack instead of Gust, like it had in Generation 1. It's also a new thing. Another Pokemon battle awaits us. And it's against... a Caterpie. So yeah, I really, really enjoy Generation 2, and I've been looking forward to start doing this Let's Play of Pokemon Gold. And uh, I can assure you that Pokemon Gold will be a lot longer than Pokemon Blue. Generation 1 wasn't very long, it's mainly when you have beaten the Pokemon League. You only kind of have to get Mewtwo and then you're done. There's nothing really much else to do, but in this game... Oh yeah. We're not really going in depth to spoil things, but... There's a lot of things to do in-game. For sure. A lot. Mr. Pokemon's house, we're here. But before we go in, let's just go to this berry tree here. A PSN Cure Berry. Or should we say, Poison Cure Berry. It has multiple berries of type, and the Poison Cure Berry is basically cures the poison of the Pokemon if it's afflicted. So if you hold a Poison Cure Berry, and you get poison afflicted by a Pokemon, it will automatically cure the poison of the Pokemon, which is pretty cool. And there is. Hello, hello. You must be Sitano. Professor Elm said that you will visit. This is what I want Professor Elm to examine. We see the mystery egg. I know a couple who run a Pokemon daycare service. They gave me that egg. I was intrigued so I sent mail to Professor Elm. For Pokemon's evolution, Professor Elm is the authority. Even Professor Oak here recognizes that. If my assumption is correct, Professor Elm will know it. Aha! So you're Sitano! 
I'm Oak, a Pokemon researcher. I was just visiting my old friend, Mr. Pokemon. I heard you were running an errand for Professor Elm, so I waited here. Oh, what's this? A rare Pokemon! Let's see. Hmm, I see. I understand why Professor Elm gave you this Pokemon for an errand. To researchers like Professor Elm and I, Pokemon are our friends. He saw that you will treat your Pokemon with love and care. Ah, you seem to be dependable. How would you like to help me out? See, this is the latest version of Pokédex. It automatically records data on Pokémon you've seen or caught. It's a high-tech encyclopedia. And we got the Pokédex. Go meet many kinds of Pokémon and complete that Pokédex. But I've stayed too long. I have to get to Goldenrod for my usual radio show. Titano, I'm counting on you. You are returning to Professor Elm? Here, your Pokemon shall have some rest. That's kind of him. I'm depending on you. Okay, so we got a Mr. Egg from Mr. Pokemon. Oh, he's a call, Professor Elm! H hello Sitano? It's a disaster! Um, it's just terrible! What shall I do? It... Oh no! Please get back here now! Uh-oh, so something terrible has just happened back at New Bark Town, and we have to go there right now. So, to get to New Bark Town, you just have to backtrack all the way from, from Mr. Pokemon's house. A Metapod. Yeah, might as well just fight it. It will take some time to fight it, but we'll see. It's gonna harden, big deal there. Go hit. It's gonna harden again. I don't think it does. Let me take. Oh, almost. And there we go. For one XP, I'm gold level seven on Cyndaquil. That's pretty decent. So we're just gonna keep on rolling. I should go to the left side here to avoid the grass, jumping on the ledge. Remember, the ledges are a one-way ticket. Because when you jump to a ledge, you can't go up again. And we're back here in Cherry Grove. Now, let's continue to New Bark Town. Oh! Oh, it's him again! You are got a Pokémon at the lab! What a waste! A wimp like you? Don't you get what I'm saying? Well, I too have a good Pokemon. I'll show you what I mean. Our first trainer battle. Against someone we don't even know who is. And he sends a Totodile. Totodile versus Cyndaquil. We have two level advantage, so this should be going to our favor. Toldoyle has pretty good defense. We just have to keep on fighting. Our tackle missed. And his scratch hits. So far it's looking good, but I think we are about... Yeah, now we're actually downside. We are half health, and Toldoyle is not, because we missed our tackle. We are in trouble now. If it's the next scratch, we are in trouble. But we have the berry. If Pokemon goes low health, it will use the berry, restores 10 health. This can be actually the deciding here. We almost got him. He keeps scratching us. So we just have to keep fighting. Oh, we got him! And that's enough to level 8. Awesome. Defeat this trainer, who we don't know who is. Hmm. Are you happy you won? Of course. 
my name's... I'm going to be the world's greatest Pokemon trainer. Okay, so his name was something, but... Okay. So we beat him at least, that's the most important thing. Now we're about to run out of time on this episode, but we should be able to hurry back to Professor Elm. Just to inform him of what just happened. So we fought this guy, and we don't know who he is. We had a Totodile. Now, don't Professor Elm had a Totodile if we could choose between? Hmm, this is kind of suspicious. Maybe he's connected. So let's go into the Pokemon lab and talk to Elm. I heard a Pokemon was stolen here. I was just getting some information from Professor Elm. Apparently it was a young male with a long red hair. What? You battle a trainer like that? Do you happen to get his name? Yeah, so this is your rival. This very guy we just fought was our own new rival. Now, I named my old rival Steven on Generation 1 after a name of a friend of mine. Gonna have another friend of mine take the name of a rival here. It'll be named D A double N and Y. Danny. Okay, so Danny was his name. Thanks for helping my investigation. Sitano, this is terrible. Oh yes, what was Mr. Pokemon's big discovery? So we gave him the egg. This? But it is a Pokemon egg? If it is, it is a great discovery. What? Professor Oak gave you a Pokedex? Sitano, is that true? Th that's incredible. He is superb at seeing the potential of people as trainers. Wow, Sitano. You may have what it takes to become the champion. You seem to be getting on great with Pokemon too. You should take the Pokemon Gym Challenge. The closest gym will be the one in Violet City. Sitano, the road to championship will be a long one. Before you leave, make sure that you talk to your mom. Okay. Sitano, you stay on your Pokedex quest. We see the book Pokeball. To add to your Pokedex, you have to catch Pokemon. Throw Pokeballs and wild Pokemon to get them. So this is the time we get the Pokeballs. Now before we're gonna quit this episode, we have to talk to our mother. Because she's actually important here. Wow, that's a cute Pokemon! Where did you get it? So you're living an adventure? Okay, I'll help too! What can I do for you? I don't know. I'll save money for you. On a long journey, money is important. Do you want me to save your money? Yeah, we can do that. Okay, I'll take care of your money. Be careful. Pokemon are your friends. You need to work as a team. Now go on. What this means is that when you fight trainers and get money from beating trainers, a part of this money will be sent to your mother instead. She actually becomes like more or less like your bank. Which is a kind of cool thing. Also, she also should do some surprising things when you, she has your money as well. Which can be a very big benefit. But this actually ends our first episode of Pokemon Gold. The journey has just begun and there's gonna be a long, but very interesting and very exciting journey. So if you have any feedback on Let's Play when discuss this game, then uh, leave a comment below this video. If you wanna be notified when I upload more parts and other stuff on my channel, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button. With that, I just want to say uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you all next time.